Welcome back to the now Tampa Bay everyone right now. People living in Bali near the smoldering volcano. You see it right there are being told to get out of the way right now. It started spewing clouds of ash on Saturday and is still going. Yeah, and get this a former ABC action news employee happened to be there as all of this was going on. We just caught up with her. Jessica Baroden finally made it out of Bali. It was pretty terrifying and away from this. One day we woke up from a nap and apparently the volcano was erupting. She took these pictures from the villa where she's been staying in Bali while on a 19 day backpacking trip. That's Mount Agung. You just see a huge mountain and just smoke spewing out of it and it just making this massive cloud in the sky. And this view too, shot by her friend. Every morning when you'd wake up, it smelled like burning fire. We actually had smoke in our villa this morning. Almost 30,000 people have already evacuated. I went into instant panic mode. You'd think anyone still there, maybe stuck, would be panicked like Jessica. Around the town, honestly, you would never even know that a volcano was exploding or erupting, I should say. Uh, everybody was going on about their basic business. The only difference is that a lot of people were wearing masks uh, to help with the breathing of the air quality. After two days of trying to get out of Dodge, it was pretty brutal. We're talking hours of cab, bus, and ferry rides. Jessica made it out, able to talk to us from an airport near Jakarta. She'll soon be headed home for the U.S. Honestly, I probably would never come back. Yeah, and after all that, you really can't blame her. Authorities in the area, they're still on the highest alert level possible in anticipation of continued eruptions, maybe even larger than what's been happening of late.